Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode. So today I will show you guys what is the new content that has been released on the new patch, which is a new update with the World 3 boss. I will put a link on the right corner of this video. I already killed the first boss and the chaotic bo boss, so you can check that out and see how I killed them. So for the next thing we will see, he added the dungeons. So if you are in world 3 you can actually go inside of the dungeon and you will see that you can talk to this character which will give you a new quest and you will need to complete jobs. The new dungeon mechanics are a little bit different and I will explain those also in another video more in depth on how this dungeon actually works. I did it once and it's quite fun because you have different tasks that you need to do in one dungeon and you will need to be able to kill the boss within the same location so you basically don't move from it. So that is pretty neat. In the new update he also added 31 new quests from world 3 NPCs. So as you go through all the world you will see different NPCs which give you different quests. Starting with this little guy here giving you one of your first quests. You will need to gather some votes from all different characters inside of world 3 map. So that is also nice. For the next part of the update he added 23 new star signs. I haven't found all the locations yet but as you can see there are different locations for these star signs and I will show you guys in this small picture what I have found so far and we will make an in-depth video on these constellations in the future. For next part of this update he added the new post office boxes which is cool. As you can see we have now the upgrade for the first box which will increase your weapon damage this one is definitely a must if you want to start doing the world 3 boss because it will increase your damage pay a lot i don't know what the other ones are yet because i haven't updated those yet but we will do that in the near future you have the charlie's crate which will increase your printer sample size which will be good for afk gains we have the two times afk xp chance so we will get more chance for whenever you're afking you will have a another crate which is more for trapping increasing your trapping efficiency you have one for the percentage build base rate and you have one for the worship so as i told you guys in my previous video about my speculations these are concrete what have been released so far which is pretty nice as, and for the orders you have your normal orders on this tab and you will have three new orders which so far I only did these and apparently it's only resources so we'll see tomorrow if this change for other resources or crafting related items. In the gem store he also added a new candy that you can actually buy. It's the cosmic candy. It gives one cosmic candy time candy which can give you up to 500 hours of afk time. And on an average it will give 24 hours it costs 325 gems and i will not buy it for now but getting 500 hours afk is pretty neat in my opinion so as i showed you in my previous videos for the chaotic boss he also unlocked the new armor so far i've been only able to unlock three parts of this armor which is the cheese or walkers which gives us 10 percent defense and 48 base defense which is nice you will need to make the avoid imperium kicks and you will need to get the dioxide synthetic from your construction so these requirements are quite high to make you will also need the scissor scaled legs giving us 11 percent defense and also 52 percent or 52 base defense and you will also need the avoid imperium pants and some green dioxide synthetic for the chest piece you will need the purple salt and also avoiding imperium chest piece and it will give you 7% mastery and 3% total damage there are two more parts which i haven't unlocked and in order to unlock them you will just need to craft the marriage shop items that you will get with these points and make the quest from the achievement dashboard he also added a new He also added 15 new achievements which are related to dungeons. As you can see we have here some that will we need to kill the grandfather frogger the third time, the first time and the second time. I have done this in the past but apparently I need to do this actively in order to get them again. Same goes for the world 2, you will need to get, kill the 
the snake and totem in level 3 difficulty, in level 2 difficulty, and in the level 1 difficulty. So you can check, the road, check those out in your tabs which have been already updated in your task achievement board. He added also the World 3 Completion Trophy. As you guys know, if you start doing the quest, you will be getting NPC tokens. And you can see that down here we have different World 3 tokens. I have only gotten the first one, which is the one required to get the boss keys every day. So you want to make sure you make the last quest in World 3 map in order to get this one. Another great feature that he added is that you can actually craft now from your anvil, so you will not need to remove the items from your inventory. In order to do that, you will need to craft one item first in order to get the button. So let's give it a try. So by going to our inventory, we can actually just craft something and you will see that the craft from storage button will pop up. So that's a neat thingy that will be upgraded for your characters. Apparently it only works with items that you have crafted in the past. So you will need to craft the items at least once in order to actually activate this button from your chest. There are some new bribes that have been introduced into the game and these cost a little bit of money. So for the bribes you will see you will be able to get 2% total damage, 2% accuracy, 2% defense, 5% carrying capacity, 2% boost on your AFK gains. You will be able to contribute more with your GPs to your guild if you buy that. And then the one from 99 is nothing. So some nice bribes, quite expensive to be honest, but I think they're gonna be useful in the long run. He has also brought some balancing in the party dungeons where apparently you will be able to kill the boss faster if you are in a bigger party. In the previous update the boss used to scale with HP so it will be having more HP than if you were killing it solo. In this new update apparently the more people you have in the party the easier it will be to kill the boss. So we will be trying those also during our live streams to see if this is actually the case. Other than that, he has uh, fixed some bugs which were in game. I will post these guys on the screenshot so you guys can actually read them out loud for yourself. And you can also check the description in this video which will show you all the things that have been updated in this patch. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I'll go and see you guys on the next video.